116.6 20 body fat happy saturday so i've already had breakfast me and skylar are on a little bit of a weekend adventure we like to go for little adventures when we can and we have time together so we're going for a drive so uh, we're just grabbing some coffees and since it's my refeed day i'm having soy milk in my coffee, usually so I go with almond milk, so I'm living on the edge. I would typically get a blueberry bar, because it's like my favorite thing from Starbucks as a treat, but alas, not for seven more weeks. day continues and we found a really cool skate park and since I'm retired from roller derby a lot of skaters I know started bowl skating and it's something I've honestly been a little too afraid to try but I actually think it might be on my bucket list now It'd be pretty fun and I haven't been on my roller skate since I retired so I miss it a lot and Skylar's really amped about the BMX kind of dirt jumps and stuff like that that we found here too so we're gonna have to make a day of it and come back we started our a newest sport bull running go 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 do a trick oh whoa and Skylar's up oh did a little kickflip thing and it's headed over what are they gonna do next oh yeah the next big future sport <laughs> bull running hey whoa <laughs> Today was an, a bit of a longer day, but it was an awesome day because after my posing class, which Skylar took me to and filmed for me so I can study, they decided to be spontaneous and drive us both to Chilliwack where I grew up, where all my family lives for a visit. 
which is about 45 minutes from where my posing class was, so that was pretty cool. Um, so we just made a quick stop and visited and headed right back, and now I'm enjoying this, this beautiful little last meal. Hi, Skylar. Hey. <laughs> wow, that looks so good. Whoa. So my coach likes where we are right now, which was great news. Posing went really good, and he hasn't made any crazy drastic changes to my diet this week. Just kind of going to stick to what changes he made last week, and hopefully we'll keep going from there. Um, I will be shortening my cardio, but also adding an extra day. So instead of doing five days a week of like longer cardio, I'm going to be doing six days a week, but shorter, which I prefer, honestly. I get really bored. So that's all for now. Good night. Just off to go do my first workout of the week, which is my quad workout. And we are six weeks and four days out or something ridiculous like that. And I remember sitting with my coach before we started doing all this and just having a lot of confidence in how well I would do considering that I've been working out for a really long time. I feel like I'm in good shape. I'm used to dieting but it feels like all of a sudden this week the diet stuff is really starting to affect me and I don't know if it's like a mental thing because I know that I'm eating less but I definitely am feeling low energy and you know not 100% fueled up for these workouts and my coach did suggest that I could take pre-workout to help me get through the next part of this journey, but I've never taken pre-workout before, so I don't really know how I feel about that. But I might give it a try sometime this week. We'll have to see, but I'm not there yet. Some of the favorite pastimes when you're on prep, especially at under seven weeks, is going to stores, to food stores, and looking at all the food that you can't have. Just getting ready to go to work and one of the best parts of prep and the best parts of my life is that every morning Skylar gets out of bed and makes me coffee. Every morning they make the best coffee and it's literally the main reason I get out of bed. The only reason I get out of bed. Thoughts while walking from the gym back to work. This is like the vlog of hunger. This is my week of hunger. I'm hungry all the time. Um, I really look forward to eating when I have a meal, but not to the point that I can't function. I'm fine. I'm at work and it keeps me busy, but it definitely feels like a drastic change from what I was eating before to what I'm eating now, but it really hasn't been. I just mentally, I think it's all in my head. So that is the report, and now I go back to my desk. Now I'm on my way from work to the gym. So it's either gym to work or work to gym. These are my thoughts. So I just found out that my parents, Skylar, and a bunch of my friends all bought tickets to my show, which is totally awesome and also very motivating because They've been really rooting for me since I decided to do this and I know how much they believe in me and when I imagine them there on my show day, like I really want to do my absolute best. When I'm having like moments of weakness, I can just think about them in the, in the audience cheering for me and I just gotta push right through it. Just finished a back and bicep workout and Skylar came and picked me up today from work, drove me to the gym worked out with me and is also driving me home so I'm getting home a lot earlier than I usually would which is awesome and it's raining in Vancouver shocker I know good evening um, I feel like I've had a very productive evening working on my technical problems actually Skylar has spent like an hour trying to help me 
with getting video onto my computer from my phone. There's a storage issue. There's an iCloud issue. There's just issues. So, say la vie. But also, to keep me busy, and as a thank you to Skylar, I made, boom! Walnut, banana, blueberry, protein muffins. They're pretty tasty. I'm kind of known for these muffins. I'm a big proponent that if you're gonna do something like contest prep, you can't have it infiltrate everybody's lives. Keep life as normal as possible at home and not be obsessive about food or anything. I wanna be able to have the discipline and ability to have things like muffins. We have chips, we have treats. We're a very balanced household outside of prep. I will have all kinds of goodies in the house. I love chocolate, but I'm also able to be really focused when I need to and disciplined about it when I need to. So, I made some muffins. They smell really good. And I feel really bad because generally our apartment smells like baked fish. So today it smells like delicious muffins. And that's just a little treat I made for Skylar. Also not sure how well this will turn out because I do not have good lighting. Because I'm never home in the daytime. I'm at home at night. But this is kind of a physique update. Slippers, sweats. This is what I wear at home. Sports bra, sweatpants, slippers. It's not really this area or my upper body that I'm worried about cutting. It is my lower body, which you cannot see. <laughs> but anyways, I don't know. I see people doing these physique updates. So bam, bam. This is what I look like right now. What up? I don't really know how much footage I'm even going to have from this week. It's already Friday. Flew by. Um, wasn't my favorite week. Wasn't my best week but I survived. I took Thursday, I took yesterday off. I didn't film anything because I just had a spontaneous rest day. It was really sunny out. Skylar offered to come meet me after work, to walk me to the gym, and I said, you know what? I won't go to the gym today. I did do cardio, but I didn't do my workout for Thursday. And we just walked home together. And then actually Skylar wanted to go for dinner. So we went to a restaurant. I ordered some steamed broccoli and then came home and ate my food later. I think that's really important when you're doing prep to make sure that you still connect with everyone in your life and you don't make prep and diet and working out like the ultimate focus. It is going to be a huge focus, it has to be, but it can't be the only focus. So today I did go to the gym and now I'm doing some very exciting things on a Friday. I am cooking myself something to eat and unpacking a box of chicken that I bought. It's a bunch of chicken breasts. Um, it lasts me a long time. It's good for meal prep. So I'm gonna take these out of the box, put them into the freezer and Ziploc bags and use them for the next week or two. Skylar went out for the night and I am going to just sit on my butt and relax and because I missed yesterday's workout I will be going to the gym tomorrow morning as well as I'm doing an extra day of cardio now so all very exciting things a little tip I picked up for flavoring your chicken without it having any added calories or fat is to use lime I am using fake lime because that's all we have but I have been buying real lime and using that to add a little something to my ground chicken. In summary, so far, I'm trying not to feel completely terrified and panicked because that is how I feel. My coach doesn't seem to be worried, but I also feel like he wouldn't put on any kind of a worried vibe around me because then that would make me freak out. So I'm seeing him on Sunday for another check-in. I'm going for weekly check-ins now so he can see how my body looks. It's all just very odd and I just am sticking to everything that he tells me to do because that's all I can do. So I'm going to be eating salmon and rice tomorrow twice. That's what I'm having, sticking to the diet. 
Thank you very much for tuning in. I will see you guys next week. Thank you, thank you.